Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Just practicing my mixed martial arts. You know, I've been thinking a lot about student government lately. I took a long look at SA, and what I saw was corruption, elitism, and just depravity. And I looked at that and I said, I want that for myself. You know, there was even a rumor that uh, someone in SA was gonna get impeached. Did I have anything to do with that? I'll never tell. You see, I transferred here from American University in Washington, D.C., which is sort of like Georgetown, but for dumbasses. Now, my experiences there involved a lot of student politicians. Now, if I've learned anything from that, it's that unlike you or me, people in student government are just barely hiding the fact that they're unhinged maniacs. If you can get this, this is actually my favorite spot on campus because you know I, I hide the trees here so I can watch all of you and like understand you better. And, and when, you know, sometimes somebody sees me, so I, I jump out. I'm like, ah, let me lead you. Let me rule you. I'm gonna become you. I'm gonna wear your skin. You, you know, they, they always have a good time with that. Now, you may be asking yourself, what if our best chance to save this school is getting an honest politician who believes in William and Mary? No. That's stupid. That's a stupid idea and you should feel stupid. Get out of here. Leave. Go. I'm sorry. Does Morton look like evidence of a kind and loving God to you? The ISC room numbers were designed to confuse us. Open your eyes! <laughs> Disgusting. But for the rest of you pragmatic realists, I have a bold new proposition for you. Okay, so I've game planned this out. Here we have William and Mary, the terrible place where we all go. Now, another key important figure here. That's me, me. I I'm right there, that's me. Now, destroying William and Mary sounds like a hard thing, right? But what if I told you that underneath William and Mary, there's a complex network of underwater rivers and caves? There's not, but that's why we would hire a construction team with a really big drill, because I like drills. Now, they drill an underwater network of rivers and caves, and you can ride a boat down that. And, and then, and then, we, uh, okay, another important thing here is, uh, after this whole thing's over, uh, there's Obama. Obama's gonna come up to me and he's gonna be like, you're, you're the new president now. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm the new president. And uh, right here, there's a, there's a, a, a doggy, because I like doggies and I wanted to draw one. Okay, so anyway, once we have that underground network, what we do is we just sort of pour water in there, just a lot of water. And what that will do over time is that that will weaken the structural integrity of the rest of the bedrock under William and Mary. And that means that eventually William and Mary would collapse downward, creating an entirely new giant swamp. So it's just all swamp. And then that means that we are done with William and Mary forever. It's over, it's over, it's gone. That's the plan. Now, you may be asking yourself, won't this take a lot of time? And where am I gonna get my degree afterwards? Well, the degree thing, I I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going straight to Congress after this, so it's not my problem, get off my ass about it. But you are right about the time thing. So I have some exciting new policy ideas to show you in the meantime. The last time the rent burnt down was in 1862. You know what I call that? A policy failure. You see, SA is scared of me. That's because our movement represents a threat to the establishment. Also, they, they caught me spying on their meetings from events. If you get an acapella group to advertise for you in front of Sadler, I, I'm sorry, you're going to jail. You see that? That's where student assembly holds their meetings where they get to some dark, perverse shit. I know for a fact that their safe word is Aaron Sorkin. As your president, I will put a stop to this sick, disgusting behavior. Unless I like it, then we're gonna keep doing it. We are going to storm an SA meeting as a movement, and we are going to get their Adderall stash and redistribute it to everybody on campus. See, the most popular thing the college has ever done was to give the Griffin statue a pee pee. But I'll go one step further and build a second statue with a VJJ. That's called equality. If I ever say anything other than PP or VJJ, my parents may watch another four hours of C-SPAN.
So I'm stressing it with a monster. So we're gonna melt this bad boy down and we're gonna make it into a throne. And anybody on campus can sit on the throne, unless I want to sit on the throne. Now I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna want to sit on the throne like a lot. We're gonna take the water from down here and we're gonna put it in there. You see, unlike the haughty elites in SA, I'm one of you. That's why I always show up here at Zabel Stadium in order to support William and Mary's athletic teams when they play, uh... You see this fire hydrant? We're gonna call in the fire department and they're gonna pop this baby open and she's gonna gush water everywhere. There's no policy reason for that. I just wanna do it. Look at this list of some of the most prestigious, respected organizations in William and Mary. All of them have rejected me. So if you reject me at the ballot box, I I'm going to have an emotional breakdown. Folks, I think the case is pretty clear. If you're looking for a candidate who you can count on to do the best possible thing for willing to marry, which is to put it out of its misery, Aiden O'Halloran is your guy. And you know the best part about all this is that we're doing it without the establishment's system. That's why, to prove a point, I have decided not to put myself on the ballot. So if you believe in that spirit and that sentiment, go on voting day and check the box right next to Aiden O'Halloran on the ballot. Wait. Uh, hey, here's some food for thought. Last campaign season, I was the only candidate who condemned the Vietnam War. And guess what? Here we are a semester later, and no one else in SA has done that. Which really makes you think what side of history they're on, huh?